West Virginia University has a steep devotion to not only serving our students, but also our communities. At the WVU College of Education and Human Services, we understand that providing our students with a top-notch education and quality experience requires resources. We're a College of Education and Human Services. We prepare professionals, and as a professional, that individual is committed to a lifelong learning. Due to the generosity of our friends and donors and alumni, uh, we've been able to maintain and enhance our academic quality and opportunities for our students. Over the course of A State of Minds, the campaign for West Virginia's university, CEHS has reached new heights to contribute to our success with more than 3,300 donors making over 13,000 gifts the college successfully raised $9.8 million as of December 31st, 2017. We owe the state of West Virginia, in my opinion, and I think in many others, uh, for the education they've given us. And this is just one small way we can give back. The goal is education. And I think in that sense, we feel that hopefully whatever little we can do to help these kids of this state benefit from the university programs. We are taking things from West Virginia that are real world problems into a conference where they're also affecting other regions and hopefully we're gonna bring things back here at home that we can use to help West Virginians in our state. We want to improve people's lives and it's hard to meet that goal in an area where there's oftentimes not a lot of funding. But here at WVU, um, I think people understand that this is a priority and that this does benefit society long term and that investing in, in our students here has far reaching implications. I think it is very exciting to help these individuals in their journey to lead in West Virginia as you pointed out. Teachers are invaluable resources in schools and so to be in a situation where we have fewer and fewer of them or that they leave uh, after a shorter amount of time is uh, a real crisis. And so to be able to support teachers or individuals to come into teaching is uh, really important. When I was a teacher, I probably had hundreds of student teachers, we called them then, and they, many of them went to Maryland, Virginia, and not that many of them stayed in West Virginia. Albeit a small scholarship, it did have a huge impact on my education because when I received it, I was doing my student teaching at East Hill Elementary. Not only financially did it help, but it showed me that other people believed that I could accomplish this too, and it was very uplifting. It gave me the boost I needed to finish out my last year. I called my mom and cried <laughs> when I learned about the scholarship. It's a giant weight off the ideas of college. I mean, coming to college is something that a lot of students prepare for, and the tuition is part of it. My wife passed away seven years ago, and before she, just, she, she became sick, we sat down and we talked about what we could do to uh, have a legacy. And so we decided to form this scholarship. She wasn't a graduate of WVU, but I think she loved the institution as, as much as I do. And so it's a great honor to be able to do this. Getting the scholarship has allowed me to have the opportunity to even come here. Any scholarship does that. You know, college is expensive and it allowed me this opportunity which then allowed me the opportunity to be at this awesome elementary school and learn a lot more from them to then impact my future. This university changed my life. For me, it was giving back to this university and I'm hoping that whoever gets my scholarship is going to be able to pay for whatever they need, whether it be dorm, tuition, books. So it's meant a lot to me personally to have this scholarship and I just really appreciate the opportunity. I think that it has moved me forward in a way that I wouldn't have been able to move forward without that support. This is a flagship university and this is also called a land-grant university. This university has to impact the lives of the citizens of the state. I think when you become an alumnus of West Virginia, you are a part of a very large family, and CEHS has a, has a phenomenally talented dean. And so to be a part of that is, just, is, is, a, is a privilege, I think. Without the donors, these programs wouldn't exist. And so as much as we can do and we can provide and give back to our communities, we couldn't do without them. And so we will always be faithful to them, and we appreciate what they're doing. 
It is my pleasure and honor on behalf of the College of Education and Human Services to say thank you, thank you. And we are very grateful and you have made a wonderful investment in the state of West Virginia. I want to thank you for all your support of West Virginia University and the College of Education and Human Services. And let's go Mountaineers.